you can do so many things in five minutes to help the way you feel, whether it is about yourself or your environment, your home, your clutter. It's all about eliminating distractions, keeping focus on the final goal. For example, an easier to close up kitchen at the end of the evening will mean probably reducing the amount of dishes, silverware, cups, pots and pans, and maybe appliances that require too much maintenance. And easier to stick to skincare will be maybe starting by eliminating toxic products and uh, realize that a one ingredient, more natural product is probably even better for your skin. Getting ready in the morning could get easier if we have a more curated, decluttered, maybe a 10 item wardrobe. And the same for simpler, healthier meals, maybe they require more intentional grocery shopping and investing in our own labor in the kitchen. Easy to keep up with places in a room require maybe simplifying them, get them airy, free of clutter. And if you want your bedroom to feel relaxing, start eliminating your clutter from your nightstand, the pile of laundry that may be sitting on the floor, and simplifying everyone's closet. All this five minutes at a time. The mistake that we make sometimes is believing that we need more stuff to create cozy spaces. Not realizing that letting go of things is what actually allows us to relax in the space. And for this reason, I always like to bring up the Airbnb or hotel analogy. So when you walk into an Airbnb, a vacation place, you are more willing to relax, to cook up a nice meal, to take a long bath. Uh, because your mind is not running on what you cannot get to or what you cannot get done by the end of the day. I started to want less because I realized that someone, my kids, my family needed me more. Not only you save time by stopping the flow of things coming into your home rather than having to go through them, but especially doing so before the attachment aspect to the something happens and makes it harder to declutter. The whole point of decluttering is to get you to stop impulse buying, whether it is triggered by a tired mind, a tired body, insecurities or else. It's about realizing who you truly are underneath all that. What you truly like to pursue. Maybe it's a different career. Maybe like me, you're almost ready to quit working those extra hours and be okay with less. But truly, more will bring you joy. is more than a perfect aesthetic. It's a tool to freedom.